Barbara Salzman, and I'm um, involved with both Marin Audubon and Marin Baylands Advocates, and this is a, basically a joint project between the two organizations to purchase this spectacular piece of property. It's about 60 acres, located in the middle of the largest remaining area of wetlands in the San Francisco Bay Area, on the west bank of the Petaluma River. It has a little hill, Burdell Island, which actually was once an island before the land surrounding it was diked. The land to the north of the creek is basically undisturbed. Part of the property on the south side was developed during much of the 20th century with boating facilities, a small restaurant, and a lodge, but it's more recently fallen into disrepair. As you can see, it's now used mostly for storage with some boat and RV parking. I wanted to speak specifically to the property to the north. It's about 25 acres, and it's all tidal marsh, part of the historic Petaluma Marsh. It's t a total of 2,000 acres, largest marsh in the state that's never been diked, um, and it's habitat for the endangered clapper rail, as well as a number of special status fish. It's uh, foraging uh, and nursery habitat for uh, Chinook salmon and steelhead trout, also for Sacramento split tail. It's just a spectacular uh, piece of property. On the south is an opportunity for restoration as well as uh, seasonal wetlands and great little hill that used to be an island now has uh, oak woodland, native habitat for upland birds, so it's a nice combination habitat. Hi, I'm Judy Arnold, President of the Marin Board of Supervisors and Supervisor from Nevada, which includes the Miramonte property. This property is one of the last key pieces of tidal marsh in Marin along the Petaluma River. It connects other protected tidal wetlands together and will ensure a continuous wildlife corridor. Marin Audubon would appreciate your financial support for this crucial project today. Thank you very much.